Hello everyone and welcome to another LaTeX with Overleaf video tutorial. My name is Juan and today I'm going to be teaching you how to write math equations in LaTeX. So to begin with, the first thing that we are going to do is include the package AMS Math. We type use package and we type AMS Math. And including this package will allow us to work with more complex equations and also will help us with alignment and including different type of symbols. So let's begin with our first mode, which is going to be inline mode, which uses the math environment. The inline mode is used for formulas in running text, and we're going to use the dollar sign to start and finish the math environment. For example, let's type the dollar sign, and we type 2 plus 2 equal 4. To begin the math environment, we start with a dollar sign, and to finish the math environment, we finish with a dollar sign as well. We hit recompile. And here we can see our equation. Section 2 displayed mode. The formulas are not part of the running text and are written in a separate line. We use it for numbering equations and for referencing them. In order to start with the equation environment, we will type backslash begin equation and we'll type 2 plus 2 equal 4 and see what happens. We recompile. And as you can see, it appears in a separate line and numbers the equation. So remember, backslash begin equation, we type the equation and then we finish the equation environment, typing backslash and equation. The second way to do this is by typing twice the dollar sign. Then we type 2 plus 2 equals 4. And to finish the equation environment, we're going to type again twice the dollar sign. We can hit recompile. And as you can see, the equation appears in a separate line, but in this case, using the dollar signs, it's not going to appear the number of the equation. The last way that we can do this is by typing the backslash, square brackets, and we type again 2 plus 2 equals 4, and again, backslash, and we close with the square bracket. So again, you begin with backslash, square bracket, and you finish with backslash in the the square brackets. We recompile and you see that also it types uh, it types again the equation a separate line. So any of the three would do the same. The difference with the equation environment like this is that it's going to number the equation and we will be able to reference this equation which I'm going to teach you in the next section. Section 3 how to label and reference an equation. In order to label an equation, we're going to go beside the backslash begin equation. We're going to type a backslash. We type label. And we're going to put here whatever the label that you would like to name your equation. I'm just going to type 2 because that's the number of the equation in our example. And then in order to reference that, we're going to just hit, um, as we can see, it's just an example. As we can see in equation, and we an open a parenthesis we um, type the backslash ref command and inside we're going to type the number, the, the label, we, we named it 2 so again we close the curly brackets close the parentheses and we can hit recompile and here you can see that it's going to reference our equation as we can see in equation 2 and you can just keep writing whatever comes after. Section 4, Greek letters. I'm going to show you how to use Greek letters. What you're going to do is begin with the math uh, environment. We're going to type the dollar sign, backslash, and you're going to type the name of your Greek letter. For example, gamma. We can do another one as an example, dollar sign to begin the math environment, backslash, and we type, for example, um, theta. We can use also alpha, for example, um, math environment, backslash, alpha. And we hit recompile. And you see that appears our Greek letters. Section 5, we're going to see some math operators and useful symbols. So let's begin with a fraction. I'm just going to start with the equation environment, typing 
the double dollar sign then you hit the backslash type frac and the syntax is the following you're going to put the numerator um, between curly brackets we're going to type a and then another curly brackets we're going to put the denominator b and then we close the equation environment with a double dollar sign we hit recompile and as you can see it shows our fraction now I'm going to show you how to write subindex and superindex we'll start with the uh, equation environment again and we're going to type for example a and to and to write the um, subindex you're going to hit the lower key type x and we close the equation environment we hit recompile and as you can see appears the x as a subindex um, also if you want to put more things for example x plus 2 what you have to do then is write this subindex in curly uh, brackets because otherwise I'll show you what happens if you don't do that see that the x plus 2 appears in the subindex but if you don't do that then the plus 2 is going to appear outside the subindex as you can see that's the reason why all the subindex you should put it in curly brackets similarly what we are going to do is we are going to use a um, so, uh, super index and it's very similar um, now you're going to put it to the power of and for example x we hit recompile and you see that the x appears as a super index so now that we have seen this sub index and super index now I can teach you how to use an integer an integral so we're going to type again the equation environment backslash int and then we put the subindex you put for example 0 and then you type to the power of and you are here going to write for example n we close the math environment the equation environment sorry and here you have our in integral section number six I'm gonna show you how to use parentheses and the reason for that is because if for example I'm going to show you what happens with the fraction if I open parentheses I hit the fraction we're going to put again as the example A and B we recompile what you're going to see is that the fraction doesn't cover the whole fraction it's kind of in the middle it doesn't look properly like that so what we're going to do is we're going to in the beginning of the fraction of the parentheses we're going to uh, type back, backslash left and we have the parentheses and then before closing the parentheses we're going to type backslash right yeah so back, backslash left open parentheses the fraction backslash right and they close the parentheses we hit recompile and you see now that the parentheses covers the whole fraction so those were all the things that I wanted to cover today now you're ready to start working on your math assignments or your research paper if you need to type equations I hope you found this video useful and I invite you to subscribe to my channel if you would like to get more content related to economics research um, learn how to use this data how to use views, or you know how to keep learning how to use Overleaf um, I'm going to be showing you how to include graphics, tables, matrix, um, and also I'm going to be submitting a template for writing your research paper. So once again, thank you very much for watching.